everyone, this is Farrell Vincent with Nation 473. Uh, today's video is actually going to be a little bit of a global conquest update. We didn't do great, um, but I wanted to show some reports and talk about why arrival times matter. Um, so just to kind of go through some of the initial results, uh, we got third, boo. Um, although our alliance actually ranked the highest in our nation, uh, which was nice. That was actually kind of unexpected. Um, but, you know, our three top alliances literally rank within one of each other, right? So it was like LDF, SNG, JRA in that order. So it'd be like seven through 10. Uh, and we had good participation, right? Um, but clearly, even with that level of participation, we really needed to organize and focus better as a nation, right? Because, you know, we're sending more than most every single round, but we're not getting those results. Um, 426 came out swinging. Uh, all of their fighters seemed to coalesce into two different um, alliances, which is why they absolutely rocked it. Um, and the general power level was a lot higher than I think a lot of people in our nation are used to fighting. Um, so while we're sending more people, you know, we do have the younger nation. So we were fighting a little bit of a stat battle. Um, but, uh, with that in mind, the kind of meat of this video is why... You need to arrive on time because like I kept some reports. Um, we'll go through a few of them, uh, but really I just wanted to, to highlight, you know, your arrival times matter when you go to hit things, right? Because, you know, when it's a one on one battle, you don't have to worry about this, right? You just go in, you hit, you move on, right? Um, you know, I don't actually remember watching this fight, but let's just take a look because, you know, you can see here, hey, your ally is joining early. And when you have these long stents where there's no one joining you, that's the problem, right? Because now, hey, here we are. We're 20 seconds into the fight. We get another guy. Um, and then we'll probably have somebody show up here and like, yep, yeah, right there. Uh, and so what ends up happening is your troops get smooshed up and you can watch as they're walking forward. They just aren't as effective in that instance. Um, so we'll watch a video that shows us off even more. Um, but that's kind of why like, you know, 1v1, not too bad. Um, or, you know, for us, right here, we have a fight where right away reinforcement, right? So. Myself and, and Pharrell and Zoe are all there already. So we have three people in this guy's city immediately. And we had one person join a little bit later. That's fine. But we had three people in the city from the start. That matters. Because right off the bat, you can see, hey, we're going to overpower this guy. I mean, he didn't have Titans for the hit, so he was doomed no matter what. But... It's really good to get that initial hit in. Um, so, you know, with, with all these reports that we're kind of clicking through, like, you know, getting those troops there early matters. Because this is a 1v2, and yeah, okay, overpower them, sure. But they did decent enough damage for how much I took, right? Like 61,000's not nothing. Um, and you know, I even took a hit, I believe this is actually my city, <laughs> if I remember right. Oh no. Oh, it must be on a node. But yeah, you know, as you're running out of troops, you see here, hey, we're all showing up around the same time. So now I'm not eating up these troops back here. So this is a good hit from them. Um, but here's where we get into where things go really, really wrong. This is an unacceptable hit 
just period. Um, the troops being sent weren't being sent in the right order, and you'll you'll see this. I'm just going to start playing this video. It's a little bit of a longer one. But what ends up happening is I'm attacking a node, and there's 15 seconds between me and the first set of reinforcements. Look where I get to before the first people get there. I am right, heck, this is 20 seconds, there. I'm hitting their snipers. My troops are still hitting their snipers, right? And you can see here, they don't have any back row. What are they hitting me with? Some zombies? Those kind of hurt a little bit, I guess. And oh, hey, we have all these melee troops dropping in on top of me that do no damage, while over here, my cannons are currently focused on killing their long range troops. So I'm killing their damage dealing troops while they, like, because my snipers are just squaring off with their entire long range army. While they're stuck sitting over here, just kind of peppering into the side of my troops the whole time. So yeah, they killed half my army, uh, but I did more than that to them. <laughs> uh, arrival times really matter, right? Because once a, this started happening, I just kept doing this to them over and over and over again. Um, how I made this happen was I was watching their reinforcements. I was clicking on their fleets as they were coming in. Um, so when I went to go attack, or while I was defending, I would use the uh, little red uh, timer. And if there was a 15 second delay between attacks, I just took them. Um, I didn't care how many people were coming. If there was 15 seconds, I took them. And you can see, you know, six people are just gonna have a problem. This is one of my favorite ones. Is this the one I'm thinking of? It might not be, but uh, you can see they get smushed back against there. And then all of a sudden you're just walking through them because now your troops don't have to move as far to kill them. Um, this one I think is the one that I'm thinking of where there's a very interesting thing that happens. Um, so yeah, again, I'm taking the defense. Look where we get to before the first defender arrives, right? We're on female Titan. <laughs> We're on the Titans by the time they actually showed up. And you see these zombies back here? They're kind of just looking for something to attack, right? Like they're, they run back here. They're just, they're chilling way back here. The zombies aren't even helping them. And then like these gunners are just chilling. The stormtroopers are just stuck here moving back and forth on the screen, right? Like over here, these guys haven't even done anything. That's why it's important. So I, just, I, I hope I'm stressing this enough uh, because like with my male Titan killing their female Titan, right? Like even down to that kind of a detail, when your troops lock on, they don't stop until it dies. It's why it matters when pay, things arrive because sure, they won. But did they? I don't know that that I like. I wouldn't call that one a win if I was them. I would call that a grind. Um, so last two, um, and again one v seven. This one I'm on an attack, so I'm down here, uh, and the same thing's going on. Right, we had some early reinforcements, great, and now we're we're seeing them show up more and more. And that's why they're doing better in this fight to start with. But I mean, at this point, I've gassed them out from all the other attacks. So mind you, this is way late into it. I've been attacking these guys for probably the better part of 20 minutes at this point. So they just don't have the steam left to keep fighting me off. Um, and so that's what happens when this goes down. Like some of these guys aren't even sending Titans anymore. Right. Um, and so when you're at this part where you're not even sending Titans, you're probably smarter to just leave the match. You're not helping. If you don't have enough troops to send Titans anymore, attacking isn't going to necessarily do much. I mean, yeah, you might be thinking, oh, I'm going to provide frontline or you'll give somebody like me a lot of points. Right. Um, and of course, my boy Terror joined me on this one. Uh, <laughs> it's just... 
that's just brutal to look at. Uh, I like seeing it. Uh, and same thing here, right? Tara and I, uh, we literally tore it up. So it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of reports where he is getting a lot more kills than me uh, because I was running out of troops for my second fleet because we were defending multiple fleets by this point. Like we teamed up to just hold them off for the last 20, remember, well, I think it's like 15 minutes or so of the event. Um, and so we were just defending each other with our second fleets and then holding a node with our other one. So he had one, I had one, we were just going back and forth constantly. Um, but I only had like, I don't know, 10,000 cannons or something like that left. It was nothing to write home about. Uh, but that was the event. Uh, again, I just, I wanted to, to really harp on the point. Um, cause I, I, I yell at people all the time in my alliance about their, their times. There's a reason, <laughs> there's a reason, there's a reason. I'm going to let the reason play in the background as we kind of close this video out, show up on time. Uh, it's logistics. Everyone needs to be there on time and preferably at the same time and together. That's the best way to get anything done. Uh, especially in like global conquest, uh, voids, frenzies. If you're doing team attacks, you need a team to attack. You cannot be solo. If you are 15 to 20 seconds ahead of somebody, recall. <laughs> you recall. If you're the first person, people do not have to catch up to you. You are the outlier. If you are the furthest ahead person and there's 15 or more seconds between you and the next person, you are going to lose the fight for your team or you're gonna cause way more losses than is absolutely necessary. So recall, because otherwise, well, this is what happens. This happens. <laughs> 371,000 troops beat 15,000. You, you, you take a four to one ratio um, and crush it. Like that's just what happens when you don't arrive on time. So um, I think I've beaten the dead horse on this one. Um, so I'm going to stop myself there. Uh, if you guys have, you know, any comments or if you want to just commiserate with uh, MFN, I mean, much respect to them. They called their C-38 on me and they kicked my teeth in at some point near the uh, this point. Right. So after this, this is right around the time where their C-38 showed up and decided to 86 half my troops. Right. These guys did fight well. Um, I just cherry picked the reports that showed the point for this video. So uh, again, shout out to these guys, shout out to everyone here. Uh, let me know how you guys' global conquests went. Um, ours was okay, but, uh, yeah, like comment, subscribe, do all the fun YouTube things. And thank you guys for your time.